Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Well, it is a big weekend for the Red River Valley as the market gears up to open for the season officially. And Folkways is celebrating their 10th anniversary season. Wow. Simone Y joins us this morning with all the opening details. Good morning. Hello. This is so exciting. Yes, it is. We're very excited. 10 years for Folkways. Mm -hmm. Whoa. First of all, just tell us about Folkways and what you guys really partner up and do. Yeah, we are a community nonprofit. Our mission is to create spaces where you you belong um, and that includes the Red River Market, yeah. our Night Bazaar, our Christmas Market and our Campus FM programs. So it is finally officially summer is really what mm -hmm. it feels like when the downtown market opens. Tell us about it. Yeah, we are celebrating, like you said, our 10th opening day. Yeah. Um, we are supported by uh, our opening day is supported by Blue Cross Blue Shield. So they'll be doing a ton of uh, fun activities and giveaways for our 10th anniversary. You can come over and take a picture at the red truck, uh, which is yes. our logo. Iconic. Um, which will have a huge birthday hat on it to celebrate. Aww. Um, we'll be welcoming um, 84 vendors for our season. Wow. Um, we'll have most of them there for opening day mm -hmm. um, and we'll stretch all across downtown. Um, we're going to have three awesome live bands to open up our opening day. Uh, Brass Interference, which we love, always brings the yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 147s and JC Canelli will be there as well. Okay, so maybe nobody's ever been to the market. Describe, yeah. you know, how you would physically run into it downtown. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we are at Broadway Square yeah. on the corner of Broadway and 2nd Avenue North. Um, we stretch all along 2nd Avenue, so it's hard to miss um, mm -hmm. with all of our tents. Uh, we open at 10 a.m. and close at 2 p.m. with a with the opening bell. Um, so it'll be a lot of energy downtown. You'll see people walking down all of the streets to get to us, yeah. um, and it'll be a great day. 10 years. How has this just evolved and grown? And then we'll get into community feedback, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we started on 2015 with 10 vendors. Wow, <laughs> really? Yep, we were very small. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple hundred people come, and we've kind of moved around downtown um, to different venues uh, that we could set up in. And after Broadway Square opened, uh, that was kind of our final home. Um, we love being there. It's a super welcoming yes. environment yeah. uh, with the fountain, the turf, the stage. Yeah. It's just a nice place to be. That's what I was going to say. The spray park for the kiddos yeah. and then, you know, <laughs> the adults that get brave every once in a while, yes, too. Absolutely. So, you, you know, describe the ambiance of everything, too. We had a wonderful video that was just showing what people can really expect. Yeah. But the energy is so welcoming, too, right? Yeah, people always say it's more than just a market. Um, we kind of say it's like a little uh, farmer's market with a little county fair on the side. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's a good way to to describe it. We have performances every day. We do a cooking demonstration every day at 11 o'clock, wow. so don't miss that. Okay. Um, we have tons of family and kids programming as well. Mm -hmm. um, and people can go on our website, redriver.market. We'll have uh, different themed events every weekend. Yeah. Uh, so if they want to check out Kids Day, um, our Fall Festival, College Day, a bunch of different stuff going on this season. So you can go to our website and see our full schedule with events. Wow, because don't you know it, just like that, fall will be here. Yes. We're already making our way through July. Definitely. The market just opened, which means summertime, but we know what's ahead of that, which is always great, too, to get outside during that time, too. Definitely. Yeah, we go through uh, every Saturday through the end of October, yeah. except next week we'll be on Sunday due to the street fair. Oh, right. Yeah, we got to we gotta share the space yeah, downtown. Exactly. Yes. Wow, <laughs> what a jam-packed weekend and everything coming up, which is always incredible for the region. So why is this so special for you personally? Uh, it's just so nice to see our community come together every yeah. weekend. Um, Folkways uh, plans a bunch of different community events, um, and every time we have one, um, it's just an awesome community vibe, neighbors seeing neighbors, yeah. families getting together, yeah. um, friends friends uh, meeting each other at the market. It's just such a nice place for our community to gather in our really town square in downtown Fargo. Yeah, gorgeous backdrop too. Okay, so people at home may not even realize this. I know I didn't. Tell us about the SNAP and the EBT match that yes. is available through the market. Yeah. So with support from the United Way this year, um, we've done this uh, since we opened, but uh, this year is being supported by the United Way. Yeah. Um, we match uh, purchases made uh, with food assistance dollar SNAP EBT. So if you have a SNAP card, yeah. you can come to the Red River Market info booth and if you spend 15 of your dollars, we'll match $15. Uh, so you can have $30 to spend at the market and you can keep coming back and using that program every weekend. Wow. Uh, we really want our community to know about it um, and our neighbors in need can come to the farmer's market and get some fresh produce with their dollars. That is so incredibly beneficial for so many people. How has that response been? Definitely. It's been awesome. Uh, yeah. people 
people appreciate it so much yeah. um, and they appreciate the ability to get uh, really nutrient dense local yeah. foods and we really believe that local food should be for everyone so we're happy to be able to offer that program to the community. I love that you know the need at an all-time high as we know even when you donate really. food and, and, and food shelters and stuff like that they're running low too because so many people need to eat and so I just really think that is a beautiful thing to offer. Definitely we're partnering with um, our friends at the food bank to, yeah. be able to share this program more um, we're trying to get the word out there so if you know anyone that uses Staff EBT, please yep. let them know. Wow, incredible. Okay, where do we go to find more information online about all those theme nights, the different vendors, everything? Yes, we are at www.redriver.market. Perfect. Simone, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Yes, thanks for me. Yes, congratulations on 10 years. You better head on out this weekend, everybody, and celebrate. All right, stick around. Coming up, we are getting some tips from Swanson Health. <laughs>